So here we've got another factorised question, but in this case, we've got a number before the a squared or the x squared or the term in front. So this is the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So whenever we've got an a term, factorising, um, for factorising we have to follow a different process. Um, they are possible to do by inspection, by guessing, but um, I think it's easier when you're first doing it to follow, to follow a process. So that's what I'm going to show you now, a process for factorising when we've got a coefficient in front of the x squared or the a squared. So the first step that we're going to do is going to take this a term and the c term and multiply them together. So 2 multiplied by 12. So 2 12s, that's 24. So we're going to do that a times c, and that's going to give us 24. Okay, now we're going to look at the factors of 24. So we're looking at what multiplies to make 24. So we can have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and there are no more. So they're all the factors of 24. Then we look at, well, there should be an A there. <laughs> then we look at what, which of these can we get to make 11? So which can make 11? So 1 times 24, well, 1 and 24 can't make 11. 2 and 12 can't, 4 and 6 can't. So it's going to have to be 3 and 8. So what we do is we use the 3 and 8 to rewrite this. So what we're doing here is we're unadding the two terms in the middle. When we expand, we get four terms, and then we, we simplify. What we've done by doing that, doing the A times C, finding the factors, and seeing which of those can make our B number, our middle number, we've unadded those two terms that we get from expanding. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this in half. So I'm just looking at the first two terms. So what we're going to end up with is two sets of brackets like this. And do you remember when we expanded, it was the first term multiplied by both of these terms. So whatever the first term is, it makes both of these. It's a factor of both of these. So what we're going to do is going to factorise just these first two terms here. So what goes into both of them? Well, there's no common factor between 2 and 3. Um, so it's just a. So we take a outside, and that leaves us with 2a plus 3. So this first term, a, I'm going to put it here, because that's what multiplied by both of these terms. We're going to factorise the second part as well. And we've got 8 and 12, so the common factor there is 4. And 2a, 4 times 2a makes 8a, 4 times 3 makes 12. So we've got the same bracket here and here, which is good. That's what we wanted. We've got a multiplied by both of these, and then 4 multiplied by both of these. Now, this is just another way of writing a plus 4 and 2a plus 3. Because we've got a times both of them, which is the first half. And then 4 times both of them, that's the second half. So this is just a, a way of rewriting the same thing. So this means this, and this is factorised, and this is our final answer. So here's another question. We're just going to follow the same steps. So it's A times C first, the first one times the last one. 2 times, well, it's minus 5, so it's minus 10. But we can ignore the minus largely. It's just, um, it's worth noting that it is, going to, it is a negative. So it's factors of 10 now. So a times c minus 10, the factors of 10. So 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. We need to make a 9. So it's going to be 1 and 10. And it's a minus 9. So we're going to have minus 10, minus 10x plus 1x. 
So we've just rewritten minus 9 as minus 10 plus 1. So we've undone the adding up that we did from it, that we get from expanding. Cut it down the middle. We factorise the first half. So that's going to be well, common factor between two and ten is two, and they've both got an x. Two x times x makes two x squared. Two x times minus five makes minus ten x. So we start to form our brackets. We know the second bracket here is going to have to be the same. So this is x minus 5. And what's left here? Well, there's no common factor. So it's just 1. So we have 2x plus 1. And we have x minus 5. That's the final answer. Okay, this is... I've deliberately made the numbers difficult in this question. So we're going to do a times c, so it's 6 times 35. So a times c, 6 times 35, that's well, 210. It's a minus 210, I'll put the minus there. Then we have to look at the factors of 210. So there's going to be a few. Um, it's 1 times 210. 2 times 105, 3 times 70, it's not in the 4 times table, it is in the 5 times table, that would be 42 times, it is in the 6 times table, um, 35 times, 7 30 times, it's not in the 8s, it's not in the 9s, it's in the 10 times table 21 times, it'd be in the 15 times table 14 times, so it was in the 14 times table. Um, so which of these can make a minus 1? It's 15 times 14. So We've got 6x squared minus 15x plus 14x. That makes minus 1, minus 35. So we've rewritten this. And then we cut it down the middle. Common factor between 6 and 15, 3. And they've both got an x. 3x times 2x makes 6x squared. And 3x times minus 5 makes minus 15. Second bracket, we know it's going to be 2x minus 5. And what multiplies by these terms to make that? It's 7. So 7 times 2x makes 14x. 7 times minus 5 makes minus 35. So the first bracket is 3x plus 7. And the second one is 2x minus 5. Again, you could have got this with the two brackets the other way around, and it would still be right. So that is the answer to that one. Okay, here's four questions. Pause the video and have a go at them. Um, just follow the same process. A times C, rewrite it, cut it down the middle, factorise each half. Um, so give them a go, and I'll put the answer up afterwards. Okay, the first one. So we should have A times C is 30. So a times c, and we get 30. Um, the factors of 30 that make 11, we should have got 5 and 6. So 2a squared plus 5a plus 6a plus 15. If you've written the 5a and the 6a the other way around, that's okay. You still get the same answer at the end. So factorise the first half. So take out a, 2a plus 5. 2a plus 5, and this is a plus 3. So the two brackets should be a plus 3 and 2a plus 5. Second one, so a times c is 42. So I've got a times c, 42. Then the factors of 42 that make minus 17, uh, that would be 14 and 3. 
So 2b squared minus 14b minus 3b plus 21. Cutting it down the middle. Taking 2b out of the first bracket. And then I've got b minus 7. b minus 7 again here. What's going to make this? If I multiply by minus 3. Minus 3 times b is minus 3b. Minus 3 times minus 7 plus 21. So our two brackets are 2b minus 3 and b minus 7. Thirdly, we've got a times c is 12. 12, which factors are we looking for? It's 3 plus 4. So 12c squared plus 3c plus 4c plus 1. Cutting it again. Take 3c out of the first bracket leaves 4c plus 1, 4c plus 1, and that's just 1. So the two brackets, 3c plus 1, and 4c plus 1. Okay, the last one. I've got a times c, and that is 18 times 3, 54. Factors of 54. Um, that make 25 is going to be, well, let's write them out. So we have 1 times 54, 2 times 27, 3 times 18. Um, is it in the 4s? No, it's not in the 4s, not in the 5s. 6 times 9. And they are all the factors. So we're going to use 2 and 27. Um, we can make 25 out of 2 and 27. So we're going to rewrite it as 3d squared um, plus 27d minus 2d minus 18. Cutting it down the middle. So 3d on the outside which leaves d plus 9. We're going to have d plus 9 in the second one. And we're going to have to multiply that, multiply that by minus 2. So our two brackets are going to be 3d minus 2 and d plus 9.